Good morning. This morning I wanted to point out one of the easiest plants to spot in the woods, and these are daffodils. If you're walking along the trail, keep an eye out for yellow and white flowers coming out of clumps of green, and you can kind of see them there off in the distance. So let's get closer. Now these plants are ones that are planted by people in gardens, but they've been around for centuries, and there's lots of different varieties of them. So they're really fun to know about. Um, I always think about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when I see them, where he makes a little teacup out of these daffodil flowers and sips out of it. So here you can see the daffodils. Really pretty little plants. Now she's probably going to pee on it on for me. <laughs> Coming in lots of different colors. And as you walk around the community, you're probably going to see these in people's gardens as well. If you do pick one, a fun experiment is that the juices that they put out, their sap, is actually poisonous to other plants. So something you could try is to pick a couple of them and put them in water and then put another plant in the water, another flower in the water, and see how that flower does. If in fact they are a little bit toxic, then that other flower shouldn't do very well. So one thing about daffodils is you'll start to see them spread out into the woods. And so how do those get there? Um, the theory is that it's probably squirrels. The squirrels are out and moving. They love to dig up bulbs, but in fact, just like the daffodil sap is poisonous to other flowers, the bulbs don't taste very good to squirrels. So they probably bury them and then come back and try and eat them and decide, ugh, that doesn't taste good, and give up. And then the next year, those daffodils happily grow in the woods. So as you're walking through the trails, keep an eye out for daffodils that squirrels have planted for us. Um, speaking of squirrels, if you look up in the trees, sometimes you'll see these clumps of sticks and twigs. There's one up there. Let's see if I can find another one. There's two. They're all over when you start looking for them. Usually 45 feet up, made up of all sorts of sticks and twigs. And those are the nests of gray squirrels. Some gray squirrels nest in tree cavities and other ones will nest in these nest structures. Oh, I'm blanking on the term of what they're called. Look that up. It's a fun word. Dent, rent, something like that. Um, anyway, so oop, there's a daffodil way off in the woods. You probably can't see it. Let's see if we get closer. So these squirrel nests way up in the trees are built out of sticks and twigs and leaves, and they'll start building them in the in the fall time when the leaves are still green so that at the very middle they can have this little compartment that is super tight to the rain and the water and they spend all winter going in and out of these things so whenever it's in winter time and it's raining like it is today and really cold I always think how are those squirrels handling it up in the trees especially when it's windy but they do they build these things so secure and the exit hole is at the bottom so that the rain doesn't get in and then there's usually an escape hole too but they have to position it really carefully so that the rain doesn't get in and they're always having to maintain these um, so that they don't they remain watertight let's see if I can zoom in oh I can I'm gonna get a better camera for you guys um, so they'll raise, sometimes they'll have two or three of these because they will get infested with lice and fleas that infest squirrels. And so they'll move to another one and they will move into the nests of other squirrels year to year. And sometimes these same nests do um, get maintained year after year. So kind of fun to watch for all the squirrel nests in your community and see um, and see if there's anything coming in or out of them. You can just sit here all day watching for the squirrels. This time of year, they're usually having one of their litters in like January, I believe. So there's probably little squirrel babies in there. Let's see if you can see the daffodil. See that daffodil way off in the woods? It has no right being there. That was definitely brought there from by a squirrel. 
So daffodils and squirrel nests, the two things to watch for as you go for a walk in the woods today.